Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Yeah, absolutely. Um, other future stuff. Uh, in this industry, well, not to get politics, but there's a very critical aspect. It's, uh, there's a huge difference between the two candidates right now. Mm-hmm. Between New Biden and and um, Trump, the administration, who's right. who's has a colored two way uh, action, mm-hmm. but he's not as he's not as bad as Biden by right. any stretch. Biden's probably the most deplorable two way policy right now. Right, and uh, become be aware of it. So one of the concerns we've got in the future is people don't think that well, it's. It's sloppy Joe over there. He's gonna. He doesn't have a chance. But let me tell you, he has a chance. Mm-hmm. He has a chance. We should understand what the differences are between the, the two policies. Mm-hmm. Um, the math is right now. The math. The math's up in the air, mm-hmm. and that's the, the uh, electoral map. The math's up in the air. The yeah, within the margin of error, which means it could be a it could be a full sweep mm-hmm. on the on the D, which means uh, Biden. Mm-hmm. Um, Pelosi and whoever comes in in the House or in the the Senate. So this could be a like the first two years where we got uh, um, the health care program. We've got their focus is going to be on um, rolling back taxes or rolling back all the tax breaks mm-hmm. and fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a big push. Yeah, and they're not going to necessarily be like the other side that hemmed and hawed when it came to Second Amendment stuff when they had a supermajority. Democrats don't play that game. They're going to go no, in there and crush the buildings <laughs> and, and do as much but as they, they did, possibly they didn't, do. Hmm? When they were in control completely, they didn't crush the buildings. Um, they I, were I, in control for a while completely. When they did Obamacare, they were running the show. They did not crush the building. They could have, but they didn't. I would agree. With, I think. I think that's true. They and the didn't. same people were there. Well, yeah. why didn't they? Why didn't they? What do you? What's the well, reason? Because they, they still, didn't? they still, they still feared the repercussions. Okay. They don't fear the repercussions now. Yeah, I think that's the difference. They, it, it's just like the. It's like the. Pe- it's like the people out in the street, right? Mm-hmm. They don't fear getting locked up for no. twenty years because they haven't been getting locked up. Well, they won't be. So they're. It, <laughs> Well, well, they will be eventually. They will trust me, mm-hmm. but because it can't go on like this. Eventually, mm-hmm. or they get shot one or the other. Mm-hmm. But you, you, if you don't have any fear of, of, of and like everybody's out and open, they're all socialists now. They never used to say that crap ever. They get a socialist. I'm for this. I'm for raising taxes. When did the Democrats come out and go, let's raise the taxes? It's like, what are they for? Oh, they're mine. Mm-hmm. Look what the economy will. The economy will go like this. You think it's bad now? Raise the taxes. <laughs> Watch what happens. Mm-hmm. It's going to go into yeah, worse than Obama stagnation. Mm-hmm. It'll go, and the, and the gun business will be so nuts. You won't be. Able, you think it's busy now? It's yeah. busy. Nothing compared to yeah. if that happens. You remember after Newtown? I mean, this is yeah, busy now, but after Newtown, our yeah, uh, you know, it just uh, they had control before. They didn't do it. We had control. We didn't do anything. Yeah. So I but, don't. Uh, but now right. it's a little different. What do you think about that, Pete? Do you agree with uh, with what Walter's saying here? Do you think that now it's different? And 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 you know, this is not just some bluster to get elected. That these guys really mean. The, the difference I could tell is that before, when when if someone's if we said to folks out there, listen, they're coming for your guns. People say, oh, we're not coming for anyone's. Gu-. No one's coming for your guns. Now they're like, yeah, we're coming for those guns. By the way, I mean, this is this is well, Biden's the, this is Biden's plan. If you read, it's like there. You can go read it. They're loud and proud now. Yeah. they don't care uh, what they say. They think that's what I think or you think. Yeah, but I don't think that's what Americans think. They're not. We wouldn't be buying. We wouldn't have five million new gun owners if that's what America thought. Yeah. Hello. So it's interesting. There was a comment about what's. So the question is, Hank, what's changed? Mm-hmm. Between um, if one party has the trifecta, that they don't crush their initiative down the throats. It's the difference. If it's a slight majority, it's really hard to to crush a, a specific policy. Mm-hmm. So 
I think it's going to be a slight majority in the Senate, so they're not going to. So that's why they're talking. They're talk about let's get rid of the filibuster. So there needs to be 51 votes versus 60 <laughs> votes, right? Yeah. As soon as that happens, that that really what that does is it nullifies the Senate and it gives all the uh, because that was the speed bump for a you know just let's gut check this guys, and if we get 60 percent, it's good for America, which I think is probably fair. Because if, when the D's, if it's a trifecta for the R's, you know, uh, I, I'm not for that either. So I don't think, I don't know, frankly. It's an unknown. I've learned not to bet on politics. I wouldn't have thought Trump would have won. He was, we were Iowa. We could uh, see him all. <laughs> I thought he would have come in I 17th. Don't, I, don't think, uh, I don't think Trump thought he was going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's, what, here's what I said before the election, Pete, and it came true. Mm-hmm. I said the guy that comes out and speaks what he's on, on his mind doesn't apologize every five minutes mm-hmm. for everything he says and doesn't care what anybody freaking thinks about him. He'll win. And guess what? Mm-hmm. That's what happened. And he had his own money. He had his own money, too, which without yeah. your own money, you can't do it. And, and it's I like, think I, I'm going to start you. I'm going to I'm going to start my own YouTube, but I don't have any money. Well, it's not going to happen. Yeah, I think also <laughs> I mean, people can see the Clintons from a mile away. I mean, people are not. You know, the people Clintons. would not. So, in other words, no one. Who's gonna? Who really wanted uh, Hillary to be president? Thousands of people did. Hundreds of thousands of people did. It's the same people that support Joe Biden. Yeah, but they got they got they got blinders on. They just walk around like this all day. Yeah, ultimately they, they that hate, didn't work out though. You know. Well, I don't think it's going to work out this time either. So I think you're going to be surprised. So, actually. so yeah. one of the differences. What's different this time? Um, there's five million new gun owners. The majority of them came from. The urban areas, which are traditionally democratic, mm-hmm. in those areas, and I think going through the process of buying a gun and waking up to the fact that there's a lot of rules around it, and oh, I got to wait ten days to get my gun. Right. I got to wait a week to get my gun. I I, I right. feel threatened tonight. What am I supposed to do? Yeah. Right. Well, I think mm-hmm. I think what we're going to see is instead of people going, oh yeah, I'm full. I'm going to lean all into the two A. They're at least going to pause a little bit and say, wait a second, that rhetoric that you've been giving me all these years, <laughs> I'm not buying it. I experienced something much different than what you're telling. So I've got a wake up call in reality. And if there's enough of those people, and it's really from the NRA days, if there's a 3% movement in some of these districts, that's enough. To, that's the margin of error that will push one candidate over the other. We're so tight on our elections of winning in most of these purple areas, which are the ones that are swing states, that voter turnout is the game. Mm-hmm. So if, if and if these new gun owners, if it's security that's their issue, they may not go vote because they can't stomach someone who's going to take that security away. Mm-hmm. Or they may go vote and change it at certain levels of the ticket. So I think the, these new gun owners that have come in, they're not going to be – a Hank Strange, not going to be Walter, not going to be Pete, but they could be someone to say, "Wait a second, I don't quite believe that rhetoric." Yeah, I'm not. I've gonna, been told the story. Gonna... I mean, they've they've been lied to for a long time. Yeah, maybe I, maybe I, I think you would be surprised. Them. Yeah, I think people would be surprised. There's a number of things going on. So, for example, this COVID nineteen shutdown. I know that it's like them libs out there feel like this is going to work to their advantage. I think a lot of people are really mad about that. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. Because it's, yeah. it's a story. You're just not hearing from them, and when I, and I'm not talking about like the silent majority that a lot of us are that we don't waste time answering polls and all that. I'm talking about the regular folks out there have had enough of this months ago. You know, regular people. They, so this is this that's a massive wild card that I think they think they believe that's in their favor, but people could see it. <laughs> You know, and I think yeah. that's what you're running into. And then on top of that, they didn't really offer anything new. I mean, there's nothing new in what they offered. They didn't come up with anyone younger or anything like that. There's <laughs> just like, you know, what are you doing? Hey. So the, so go hey. back to what you said, what you said, uh, Walt. Trump is still the, the maverick out there, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah he, he's a guy that don't care whether you like him or not, pretty you much. Know, um, oh. Democrats have... They're a smart party. They, they're, they're a smart party. Mm-hmm. They win when they have a new energetic candidate. I just look at historically. When they don't bring that to the table, they, they don't win. Mm-hmm. 
So they're looking for progressive ideas and progressive candidates. I mean, Obama was, was definitely that. Mm -hmm. And and Clinton was that. And um, Carter was that. And Kennedy was that. Yeah. I mean, you just go back and really had a good run mm -hmm. and done, done a good good thing for their for the Democratic planks. Yeah, I think the exciting Democrats didn't don't really want it. That's that's why we have Biden, and that's why the VP thing went a little weird. And then the person who we all knew was going to be the VP became the VP because ultimately the actual stars that you're talking about are out there. When they're looking at it, they're like, "No, nah, I don't want it. Not in this environment. No thanks." Yeah. Did you, yeah. did, did you see what uh, Hillary Clinton said that Biden should stay should not debate? Yes, Trump? I did see that. Yeah. So. Oh, so that's yeah. just telling me that he's going to get shredded alive. Yeah, that's what she says. She's afraid of Trump skullduggery. So Trump's a pirate. Awesome. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> well guys, uh, that was her words. I can read it to you. Those were her words. If you don't believe me, let me see. We, you know, since we got Pete here, we're not really like bringing up the news or anything like that. But I did see this from uh, Hillary, and I was like, this has got to be. Um, you know, oh, actually, no, it, was, it wasn't Hillary that said that. It was Pelosi. Here, I'll bring it up for oh, you. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, it was Pelosi. Yeah, yes, Pelosi yeah. says... Um, yeah, the walking, the, walking, the walking corpse. Pelosi oh. said, I don't think there should be any debates between Biden and Trump. She goes on, lists all her reasons and stuff like that. And then um, as we go down, uh, let's see, where is it? I'm looking for the skullduggery here. Um, uh, there was a part here where she said that there's going to be skullduggery and i was like wow this is uh i'm trying to find it here I'll, I'll find it for you guys but it's it's definitely in what she said which is to me amazing um i i'm sitting at home one night pete and here comes a biden commercial about climate change mm -hmm. and i'm thinking that's all they freaking got is climate change i mean that is such a war out uh that's that's like russia their whole russia narrative no, I, you know, it's like, come on, climate. It's all you got. You got creepy Joe. Is is climate change? Mm -hmm. you, know? you know what's interesting, and I and I think that it it came through in one of these comments. I'll make this statement. When, and I'll say I'm I'm a professed independent. Mm -hmm. When we, unfortunately, when we say Democrats, many people say, "Well, I'm a Democrat." <laughs> when, and. <laughs> I, and I don't believe everything that that head of the party believes in, or mm -hmm. Republicans. And we and we identify not wholeheartedly. We're not all 100% one demographic. Mm -hmm. And so I think maybe a better way to say it is, uh, you know, that uh, the, the Biden policy or the the Trump policies, those things, because we're, we I think we said it before, we're not all just one monolithic block yeah. of thinking. And that's what makes us really strong, and hopefully. We start to hear individual voices yeah. out there on both sides of the parties, yeah. on both sides of these these uh, affiliated lines, or even this third independent voice out there to say, "Hey, look, who's the best person? What are the best policies that fit where I think America should go?" And that's how we're voting mm -hmm. in this near future. Instead of just pulling the, I mean, shit. When I came back to the Iowa, we had a big lever called R and D. We get, we didn't. <laughs> the two-party system like, is what's getting us. I think a lot of gun guys. By the nature of, of who we are, we don't believe in big government and all that kind of stuff. We, we don't. No. You know, we don't like politicians. <laughs> you know, right. I mean, it's just the nature of who we are, right? I think we all realize that there's Republicans who have totally uh, just forgotten about the Constitution, much less the Second Amendment. You know, yeah. so I, I feel like, yes, there, there are a lot of people like that. Let me bring this up real quick because I did I did say this. It's there. It says she explained she did not think the president of the United States had comported himself in a way that anybody should and has any association with truth, evidence, data and facts. And as a result, any debate with him would just be an exercise in skullduggery by Trump. Boom. Trump is getting skullduggery claims thrown out of him. Where is the definition I, skull, of skullduggery? It skull, doesn't have something to do with skullduggery. Skullduggery. Skull okay, I could tell you what skullduggery It sounds like is, you're doing something to a skull of a dead person. That's the uh, that's, <laughs> et etymology probably goes back to that. But. Uh, so I'm not even going to touch that one. <laughs> uh, uh, but but uh, that's not what the definition – to me, when I hear skullduggery, I think about pirates. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, right. That's not bad words to me. 
you know? But uh, here it is. Here's the definition. Uh, I'll throw it up here on the screen for people. Uh, underhanded or unscrupulous behavior trickery. <laughs> Um, and she that's, that's is accusing him of that. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. Russia. Can I say Russia? Yeah. Russia? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We, we all know that. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.